Oh, welcome back to the Career Build Series. Um, this is episode 65, and so um, in this episode, I'm starting to think we're going to want some money. Um, I've kind of been thinking lately, and I've made a decision that I am going to intersperse some of my previous creations in. Um, for example, one of the reasons I started this was I wanted to get the home ship in. And so, um, you know, it, I'm not something of that scale takes months and months to build, so I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, I'm going to still build the majority of our craft and then use some other things as uh, necessary. But um, So we have uh, the la latest uh, Vigeau, which um, should be out when this uh, video comes out, unless I forget. So, um, you know, let's launch this. And then, so, one of the things I want to do is I want to do... Uh, I want to do higher, um, higher profit fuel trading. So, one of the thoughts I had was build a bigger barge, and that's on the to-do list. Um, we have um, spy cakes and um, Komodo, so we could build something larger, but um, I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. So I should shut the engines off before I jump out of my seat. All right, so what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a test here. We're going to start the video with a test. And this is my uh, test world, so I can pretty much launch whatever I want out of here. And so what the uh, what the test is going to be here is I'm going to launch two barges. And so the plan here is to get them um, essentially um, going in tandem. And then uh, hook them together and then have them uh, go across. So let me see here. Um, so I'm kind of thinking how I want to do this. You know, the benefit of having multiple barges um, is going to be that, you know, again, I like the concept of modularity. Modularity is king. Um, you see this a lot, IRL. Um, you know, if you can have a bunch of modules, it really helps you to, um, you know, not have to build a ton of stuff, not, um, you know, not have to build a ton of stuff, and it really lets you tailor your, um, whatever you're trying to do. So in this case, okay, why is that not letting me build? I think it's too far in. Okay, that won't let me build there at all. Why will that not me let me build? Um, let me look. Let me move this forward here. Okay, that's all the way forward. That's interesting that it won't let me build there at all. Hmm. Okay, that's not letting me build there. Not there. Nowhere there. Okay. See, it won't let me build here. Is it really this tight in the world that I can't do this? I can't slide this forward because of the anchor. So this is just tight in the beginner base. Which I want to make this so that it always functions in the beginner base, so that's fine. Um, we're going to do this instead here. Um, see, it still won't let me do there. That's fine. All right, what we're going to do is, so I'm going to make, um, I like, like again, as I was saying, I like the notion of modularity. Modularity allows us to use one barge, for example, like this one, um, in many different situations, and that is a good way to operate. Um, that really makes it so that we can do whatever we want. We can, um, you know, like this barge, it's modular in the sense that it can haul both fuel, it can also haul containers, and then we can attach modules. You know, the crane wasn't um, successful yet, but, you know, add things like the crane module. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a module for, um, I'm going to make a module for a winch. And this way we can double up some container, um, some barges, and have the barges tow one another. So, I'm going to make a winch module, and it's a really simple here. We're going to cut that. All right, and let's go like that. All right, so now these are on their own grid. All right, and let's go, uh, I think, one by twos. All right, so this is going to allow us to really easily add and remove a winch module as necessary. Instead of having 400 versions of the barge, we're going to have one version of the barge that does... You know, theoretically, 400 things. Um, let's see. That there, like that. There we go. And then uh, we'll grab these. All right. And so this is going to be the winch module. And so that will drop down and connect. I think that's a block off. That's a block off. All right. That will drop down and connect. And then um, I can put a winch on this. And that will allow us to um, 
connect to another um, barge of the same type. Okay, let's go like, I'm trying to just get this on there and I'm going to move it. Okay. Alright, so where do I want this? Let's see, this is going to drop down a block. So that is, that is about where I want it. Um, let's move it up one, I think. And that looks pretty good there. Okay. And then let's fasten it to the uh, barge. Or let's fasten it to this um, carriage that I'm building here. Alright, so I think one by two wedges there. Alright. Alright, so that is going to be our winch module. Um, and then I want to add a microcontroller on this. So I'm probably going to use this interior space there. So let's do a microcontroller. Uh, do I want to complicate it that much with a microcontroller? Probably do. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it so that it works the way I want to. Uh, let's see, barge winch module. Okay. So I need two out for out in. I need to read a number, and I need to read another number. Okay, so first thing I'm going to start with is a number. I'm going to use a number pad, and this is going to be uh, meters. All right, it's an input. That's from keypad. All right, then I'm going to do a an output. That's going to be winch uh, out. And then this is going to be winch in. Okay, that's winch in. And then the last one is going to be a number, and that is going to be an input. That's going to be cable length. All right, cable length. All right, so we're going to go in there. And very simply, uh, what we're going to do here is, let's see. Try and decide how to make this so that it doesn't activate constantly. I think I can do it with putting a floor in there. Um, let me see. Let's see. Where is it? Constants, operators, trig, add-ons, floor X. F-L-O-R-R-X. Okay, that didn't do it. What is, let me see, add-on. Floor Okay, it did say brackets, it's just the explanation didn't have brackets as well. Okay, so that should hopefully put no decimal places. That should get us cl closest to the nearest meter, I hope. All right, so uh, that's not what I want anyways. I want that. All right, so uh, let's see. That's going to be this. Um, so we need less. We need a less than. We need a greater than. All right, so... If the number we input is greater than this, okay, I want to winch in. If the number I input is less than this, I want to winch out. Okay, so that should be that should work pretty simply. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now right, let's connect the logic here. Keypad is winch length. Nope, keypad is not which length. Winch length is winch length. This is going to be out, out is down, and then up is, or in is up. And then this can go in. Let's paint this my yellow color here, and then what I will do is I will put that. Uh, go like that. See if this will, this should fit right in the bottom here. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's see if I want that yellow. Uh, yeah. Me. Just for symmetry purposes, I'm going to uh, make it one wider. That way it fills the whole space. All right. All right, so that will go like that. Yeah, we'll merge that up. And then the last thing we need is a keypad. There's a keypad.
All right, so the keypad goes there. Uh, logic's going to be keypad goes there. Uh, we want to do electricity, so I'm just going to connect all these four together here. All right, and then this will go here. This will go here. That's electrified. And then these uh, will be connected like that, and that will go to one of the batteries. There we go. All right, so that will see power. We'll enter in the keypad, uh, the key number we want. And it will either, um, it will allow that cable to go out or in, depending upon. So that's done. Um, let's save this. I'm just going to save the whole unit. Um, let's see. Barge with winch module. All right, so that is good. That's saved, um, as we can see. All right, let's spawn that. And then um, I'll grab just grab a cable off of Rigeau. Oh, actually, I don't want to spawn that yet. Let me drag it back. I want to fill it up with uh, fuel. Where is my spawn? I need a spawner in there. So this is just uh, will default to diesel. Um, I think that's a meter. Okay, that's defaulted to diesel. We should notice this sits lower in the water now. See it's bouncing less, sitting lower in the water. Okay, good. So that that now has um, some fuel in it. Because we added the APU, that's um, the deck is washing a little bit there. So that's something that um, I might move the back wall of the um, fuel tank back. So that's something to lab. Check my battery. Get okay, batteries, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and back in, and we will hook to this one, and then I will um, hook. I'll launch a second one, just the default barge. And uh, that will be um, that will be the trailing barge. I, I want to get a test on this. Um, I have yet to pull. So I, I updated the engines on Rigeau. Um It should be out by now. Um, I've yet to test it with a single barge to see what my new speed is. Um, so that is something that I will do after I do the two. I will. Um, I'll just disconnect the uh, stern barge, and I will. Um, Go ahead and test with just the one as well. See what speed gains we got. Okay, so we're stopped there. Let me jump off here, and then I should grab a rope. I don't have one on me. Okay, let me grab a rope. Okay. All right, so we're going to launch a second barge. So, you know, like I say, my original plan was to make an, uh, a larger barge, but... Again, I'm trying. Not, I'm trying to get some good game plan and not have every video be a build video. And they are, you know, build videos often going to be hours long. So, um, so you know, I, I want to kind of put off building the bigger barge. You know, we get a uh, essentially an arms race. I build a bigger barge, and then we need a bigger power unit. Then I build a bigger power unit. You know, <laughs> so I'm trying to not have the. Um, Try not to start the arms race yet. Um, that will come at some point, but I'm not ready to start the arms race yet. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to connect it to this connector. I need to configure the winch, uh, make sure it's working. Um, it should be working, but who knows. Okay, so jump on. Okay, good. All right, so let's uh, connect this. Let me put a number in here. Let's do uh, 50 meters. And then I'll connect my cable to the winch module. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't hear it going, so this is... There we go. Okay, so see it's paying out. Is it? It's dragging cable in. I don't know why it's doing that. i got to stop this before it tries to break something. Okay. Why are you doing this? Okay, it's it's just inverted. I put it in backwards, so that's fine. Uh, I could fix that. I put the greater than and less than backwards, so not a big deal. That can be easily fixed. All right, so let's start. I'm getting stuck on stuff. I still need to delete off the deck. All right, so let's pull with this. Again, this is the new improved version of Rigeau. Went from ten uh, straight tens to um, to radial twenties or radial twelves, rather not twenties. I keep saying twenties. So we have more power. Um, with this new boat, um, and so, uh, why is it doing, is that going to be 50 meters? I think it will be. Yeah, it's, 
That's probably about 50 meters. Um, that was a little excessive on my part. Let's go. Let's go negative 20. Okay. Still paying out. Whatever. Um, I put zero. Nothing. What if I put 50? Who knows? Okay. That's something I need to work on, apparently. But whatever. Let me put negative 50. Um, I'll just pull the lo the uh, cable taut, and then we will. Um, good jump. And then I just want to do a speed test, see how long. Because part of the thing is, you know, even if we go half the speed, we're gonna make this. We're gonna. It's gonna be huge time savings to tow two barges instead of one. So we're gonna get into an issue here when this gets taut there. We're gonna have some, uh, it's gonna slow us up a little bit here, but okay, so we're pulling two barges. These barges are, um, they hold about 29,000 liters per. We're doing seven knots, so that's not bad. Uh, we were doing about eight knots, I think, with a single, and that was before I put on the new motors, so, you know, seven sounds slow, but we're bringing 60,000 liters of diesel around. And so we can double our profit, and we're, say, maybe going down you know, it, it's it's a tiny amount of time that we're adding, you know, to this. Um, let's say we could go 10 knots, so that's three knots per hour. Um, you know, we would have to go there and back, you know, so you have to add up all that time. And so it's much better to do um, kind of a train of barges. We're gonna have to, you know, maneuver them, but um, that's not a big deal. So let's test some of the new towing. So with the new fins, as you can see, it um, we're, ho this, we're hauling a much heavier object. We were listing pretty well with the um, submarine. As you notice, we're pulling a lot more weight and we're listing a lot less. We're barely listing because uh, the fins, the fin upgrade. All right, so as you can see, pulling these two barges, uh, no problem, that's 60,000 liters. Um, so the plan here is go into the career game. Uh, down here, um, oil sells for say 60 cents. Our oil buys for 60 cents. Where is it? I always forget where it is. It needs to populate. It's right here. Okay. All right. So that is uh, oil is 286. So let's do the math really quick. 286 minus 60. That's easy. That's 224. But um, 224. That's 224 per liter times say 60,000 liters. All right. So that's going to be. That can't be right. No. That is right. That's insanity. Is that that can't be that high? Let me run these numbers again. That's insanity. I think I screwed up a number. Yeah, I screwed up a number. Two point. What is it? Eight six. Subtract point. I think I missed the decimal again. Right, on this calculator, sometimes I miss that decimal. All right. Two point eight six. Subtract off sixty. We'll say. That's two dollars and twenty-six cents times sixty thousand. Yeah, that's that's makes sense. One hundred thirty-five thousand. Um, it was just a decimal error. It would have been the same, but I just figured I'd rerun it as well. So that's one hundred thirty-five thousand profit to go from here up to here. All right, uh, where is it? Over here, up to here. All right, and then what we'll do is so we'll have a big chunk of change in the in the pocket. What do we have? I can't see what I have for money in this one, but um, okay. So then, what we could theoretically do is we could buy diesel or jet fuel. Probably going to be jet fuel, so a dollar forty-three. And on the way back, we'll stop at the military base, and that's five thirty-eight. So let's see, five point three eight minus what was it, one thirty-three? That's uh, four dollars and five cents per liter times sixty thousand. All right, so that's 243,000 um, profit, or 243,000 we'll make off that. Let's see what we'd have to, that's profit actually. Let's see what we, how much we'd have to buy. So 60 times a dollar 33 is um, 79,000. So we'll, that's huge money. So this doesn't look like a big impressive uh, operation here, but this is gonna allow us to make massive amounts of money and so one of the reasons I want to do this I want to start getting in some of my other built stuff especially the home ship at some point um, 
So this is how we can pretty much play with whatever toys we want, is to, uh, is to go ahead and go out there and get some, uh, some cheddar cheese money, and then we can do whatever we want. So we get a good toe speed here. We're going seven knots. Um, you know, let's, let's just, you know, um, I don't know how far this is. Let me see. All right, let's plug that in. All right, so that is um, going to take us an hour to get here. So let's kind of extrapolate. So that's an hour from here to here. That's about, let's say, double the distance, maybe a little bit more. So that's two hours travel time. So uh, what I'll do is when I end up doing this, um, you know, we'll start, start over here. I'll most likely, I might try learn how to fast forward. Um, I think I'll do that. I'll record it all, and then I'll learn how to fast forward. And, um, you know, so leave here from uh, Spy Cakes, head down to the oil platform. And then, uh, you know, I'll fast forward through. We'll get there. I'll hook up, fast forward through the, uh, the fluid loading. Then we'll head up. I'll fast forward through the whole thing so you can kind of just watch the fast forward. And then uh, come up here, fast forward all the way up here. Get out, connect everything up, fast forward wherever it is keeps moving on me, or I keep moving it, um, and then, you know, fast forward through all the slow bits, but um, I think that's a plan for this. I think that will be, uh, be a good way to do it, and so we're looking at, what was I saying, there are 134,000 plus uh, 230, so that's that, $360,000 uh, we should have at the end of this mission. It's going to be long, um, you know, I'm going to do all the fast forwarding, but, um, you know, that's... Uh, you know, that's, a lot of people have issues with how long these things take. Well, you know, one of the things I enjoy about these simulator-type games is that you can um, pretty reliably and pretty easily go do something else. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't like that. But, um, you know, you know, like if you, you know, set some of the stuff up before bed and, and, and it automatically shuts off. Like I used to do that with, with Farm and Sim as I'd set my stuff up. I knew it was going to take me eight hours to, you know, to uh, harvest a field with the uh, with the autopilot on, let it do that, and then uh, you know you're back. You know, so it's not a big deal. Um, so you you know, I'll I'll fast forward all that. I'll learn how to do that. But um, so the little winch module is working well. Um, I'm gonna have to move the back wall of the fuel tank back a little bit just because I put some stuff in the nose there in the bow, so it's a little bit heavier. But I will get back with you guys, and we will. Um, well, actually, let's call it here. This was we'll, we'll make this a separate uh, day's video. I think that's going to be better. Uh, we're already at 22 minutes, so that way I'll uh, we'll make this you know this video. So this is the plan. So this is going to be our next mission. Uh, launch Rijo. We'll use this new winch module. I'm going to separate it so that I can um, individually cut it and just put it above. And now we have a winch module which I need to fix and make it work because it wasn't. Um, and uh, then. Once that's done, um, I'll just fix that off screen um, and I'll show you what I did. Then we'll uh, couple a couple barges together and we'll head out. You know, and theoretically, you know, we could we could launch more than two of these if we wanted. Um, but let's start with two, and so we'll tow the two barges in. It's going to take a little bit of a, uh, you know, especially you know, it's actually not bad because we have anchors in the front here, so I can so when I get there, you know, either so when I get out to say the oil platform. I don't know what the depth is here, but I can even disconnect and leave one sitting out here, drag the other one close, and then fill it, drag it out, drop it, go grab the other one, drag it over, fill it, and then recouple and then head off. And then the same thing over here, um, you know, I drop it. So it's like, for example, we pull double trailers at work a lot. And so you drop the back trailer, you go drop the kite, or you drop the uh, dolly somewhere, and then you go uh, put the lead on door and then if you need to do both you go back and get the other trailer and put that one on door so kind of that um, thought process so that's what we're gonna do in the next video uh, we'll get moving on that that should get us a huge amount of money and so once we have a huge amount of money in there we can really start playing with some of my bigger stuff um, you know the I would like to get back to the home ship a little bit um, you know, and so that uh, that gives us plenty of money. The other thing too that I want to do, one of the reasons that precipitated me wanting some money, is I would love to buy this island and uh, actually do some base building. So this costs a hundred thousand. 
And then we have to spend whatever we're going to do to build it. And we don't get that money back because I believe I haven't done it yet. But that's going to be our, our uh, you know, that's going to be our, our little home. So that's a hundred grand. So even though, you know, we'll have 300, well, actually probably close to 400 grand in the bank, we're going to spend a hundred right off the bat. We're going to build that. That's going to cost us some money. I want to start leaving some of these creations in the world and putting them up on buoys. Like Brijo is very close to being where I would consider done and I can't think of many more things to do to it so what I would do is um, put a mooring buoy out here and leave it out in the world and that way if it if it sinks in a storm we have to go get it um, kind of be a little bit more realistic on that um, and so that that's pretty good and then uh, you know if I want to launch my my uh, you know if we really want to make some money uh, we launch something like this uh, the T800. Up, oh, okay, well, let me even show you in there. But uh, T800 is my um, oil tanker. You know that that makes I think it's like a million, a million a run or something. You know, but you know it sounds like a ton of money. But you know you start buying some islands, you start uh, launching large vehicles. The home ship has something like 175,000 liters of diesel, so we have to buy 175,000 liters of diesel. And as we use it, we need to buy new diesel. So, um, you know, that's why we need to make some, some money and start getting towards that more advanced game. Uh, but that's the plan for the next video. So we'll see you then.